Let's see if we can haggle this a little bit. Can we do something about the price? Why not? Okay, that's a good answer. Let's go like four. Four two. Agree? It'll take more than that to persuade me. I want to punch in the face. Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Wow, this this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Hello, my lords and ladies. I'm Pitch Dark, and this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, been waiting for this game for quite some time now, and um, so happy that it is here. Um, so, never played first um, first attempt, so this should be pretty good. Um, so, actually, let's look at the settings here for a second. Make sure. That looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it like that for defaults, and then as time goes, maybe we can tweak them. We'll see how the performance is. It should be pretty good. I have a pretty decent uh, setup here, so. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Roman Holy Roman Empire which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV, but now with his son, blah, blah, oh, damn it. Well, we'll just go back and read all this. This is a tutorial <laughs> or something. There. Wow, this is just beautiful.
God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorch. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. That's me. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. That would be me too. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Uh -oh. Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> okay, let's see what I'm gonna do now, yeah? Unexpected visit. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Ah, uh, let's see. By means of the first two choices in the dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. All right. So, uh... I was working at the forge. I was sweating in the forge all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand, and that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Would I be interested in sword fighting? Matthias has been teaching me archery. I was with Bianca. Ho ho. What does it matter? I don't want to be mean to my mom. Um, Matthias was teaching me archery. No, it's just Matthias. Was Matthias teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow anyway? Oh come on! I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. Me? I promise. I would never do anything stupid. Um, have my friends been here? I'm hungry as power, angry at me. Do you need me? Do you need help? Um, okay. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday, you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was, and you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain, but he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Okay, uh... 
My friends aren't drunks. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. Oh. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Um. Give me an example. Of course he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday, you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. All right. Uh, do you need my help? Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Okay. Keeps bringing that up. So, uh, I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Okay. So I think that's it. Alright. Move around using WASD. You can also sprint, jump, and walk. You can interact with the world using E. Talk to people, collect things, open boxes, etc. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's take all these apples. So like a lot of these games, like survival type games, um, which this isn't really, I wouldn't say it's a survival game. I really don't know what it's going to be like. Um, you do have to eat, so. Eat from pot, drop in pot. <laughs> okay, I guess I eat. <laughs> All right. Where's Dad? This looks amazing. Uh, let's see. Not quite sure where I'm going. Oh, there's a marker up there. Maybe that's where I gotta go. I discovered Grindstone. So that must be the, the town I'm living in right now. Here, this must be Dad. Come here, I need your help. Uh, okay, hey Dad. Don't be mad at me. Sir. At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. No. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. Yes. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But hey. make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Yeah, it's Bianca, Dad. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. So I guess Dad doesn't like Bianca. I guess we'll find out if we like her. Um, so most of the quests can be completed in different ways. Eloquence will help you... When friends and inconspicuous persons can totally avoid trouble, and if you'd rather not beat around the bush, violence can also be a solution. <laughs> Alright, so what is this new codex entry? Alright, here we go. Uh, oh boy. Animal husbandry. Okay. Yeah, just as I thought, there's going to be a lot to this game, um, which I'm really hoping for because that's 
pretty much what I wanted. Uh, <laughs> so I'm probably going to have to go through these offline. So there's tutorials for alchemy, basic control, stuff like that. All right. Um, that's me. It's my combat skills, which are nothing right now. Okay. So quest log. Unexpected. So we finally get some spring weather, but still I slept late in the morning. Because I was out celebrating, it's late in the evening. It was a bit hard getting out of bed this morning. All right. So these are everything I have to do. Um, so I started off getting some training and sword fighting from the mercenary who showed up in skel Skelets yesterday. Father and mother mustn't find out for some reason they don't want me to learn to defend myself. I've got a bit of a cut in the yesterday's lessons, though we're supposed to meet by the alehouse again today. All right, so now I have to go. I have to go to the market and buy charcoal for father for the forge so we can get the sword for. Finish the sword for Sword Radzik. Um, great, I've got the money for the other things from Rushnik. Who was my father? He's not. Why is this saying that? Oh, great, I've got to get the money. I, I read that wrong. Oh my god. I thought I said I, I got the money. I've got to get the money. I got to get. <laughs> Alright. Got to get the money. Alright, so we gotta find this guy, uh, Kunish. Alright. Now, with this A, B, is there a map? There is. Alright, good. So, Kunish is C. Alright. So, he's gonna be down that way. That's my shadow. Look at that. So, it's like. You can see yourself and everything. That's cool. Oh, I can punch. Should I punch this guy? I won't do that. Who's this guy? Nobody. Okay. Alright. So first impressions, really beautiful. I mean, everything looks beautiful. It's running smooth. Seems like it's running pretty good. Um, so, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. You could find... Oh, I should have read that. I did not. <laughs> Sits up about... I don't know. We'll figure it out. What's going on here? I discovered charcoal burner. Charcoal burner, Havel. Okay. All right, let's go see if we can find this guy. I think he's, I think he said he was C. So, get a money that oh, he owes my pa. Are you him? Yep, you are Kunish. Let's see how he talks to us. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Oh, he's kind of rude. Okay. Father sent me for the money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Oh, you're a dick. I knew you'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. <laughs> I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard. What? Your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. Nobody calls me a bastard. Persuasion. Sometimes you need the powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When people, when talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at the moment with the person you're talking to. Probably not good right now. In the Middle Ages, social status was pro was a paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are together with your reputation can make a big difference in how people respond to you. So that probably won't work. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid of you, be afraid to cross you, and you will be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and deterrent effect of your weapons, equipment, blah, blah, blah. You can simply rely on money to do the talking. Okay, well, I'm trying to get money from this dude. Uh, special cases, you can try any of Henry's other skills, horsemanship, etc. 
Okay. Um, but different approaches work in different people. You won't intimidate a, a tough brawler easy, easily, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but compared to the abilities of his counterparts, you can see the value of the various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. So basically what it's saying is that how I dress, how I act, how I look is really going to change the way people are going to view me and how they're going to react to me in different situations and also who that person is. Um, okay. It's not just the stats though, the outcome is influenced by other factors, your reputation, whether you're dirty or bleeding, if you can't undo a simple tongue of the merchant, for example, you may want to poison him for a little first, and then he will be easier to persuade. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay, so I'll poison this guy. Um, Depths must, Look. dust must be paid. I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off. Booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. <laughs> it's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore! Yeah, that was. How a... dare you speak to me like that? Very sincere. Can your thieving father teach you any manners? No. Well, I'll teach you then. Oh, I think we're gonna fight. Oh, we are gonna fight. Okay. Slash strong, slower strike with weapon, hook strong, blah blah blah, jab, faster, weaker, weapon strikes, jab, okay, F's to kick, tap to lock component, uh, opponent, shift to unlock, Q to block, it's kind of weird, alright, direction, of attack up, down, left, right. You can't attack from a grayed out direction. Alright, we'll just see what happens. That worked. Oh. 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 Dopsy Diri. I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, that was good. I'm not sure what that's all about. Curse it! Ow! Oh. oh! You bastard dog! He keeps doing that to me. <laughs> I don't know how he's doing that, but. Oh! I think I got him. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Kunda. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get my ass kicked. <laughs> What does that mean? I have no idea. I got some hits on him. Quitting. No. And 
I want I want to use my right mouse button to block. I'm over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, how's he doing that? Wow. Did I just say guard? going on. Pissing me off every time he grabs me. I think I got him. It's hard to tell if I'm winning or losing. <laughs> I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Sure. All right. So you can always see your red health bar in the lower edge of the screen. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, determines your the level of health also determines the maximum of your level of stamina Thank you for putting that away. So I can't read it. All right So what do we get? I don't even know how to check inventory or anything there. There we go inventory So we've got his keys Look at that I'm all bloody I'm gonna look great when I go see Bianca All right, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want, but you haven't heard the last of this. Oh, so I could just go in his house and take what I want? Um, do you have anything useful? Um, what's in here? Okay. Oh, there we go. Unlock. Um. All right, so we took his hammer and nails. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I actually got anything like. Uh, where's our quest log again? I 
I didn't really collect anything from him. Do I like rob him or something? What is it? All right, blacksmith's boy, you got the better of me. Take what you want. All right, you but you don't have anything good. I take your horse. Discover the trader. Okay. Really don't know what I'm supposed to do. was really nothing else in it, right? So you have to go through each thing. Quest items. Okay. Sit. You know, what do I want to do with this hammer and nails? Who cares about that? What? What the money? What gold? Dude, you gotta clean up in here. Really? Where do you sleep? Is this your house over here? Maybe? I don't think so. Is the grocer? Yeah, it's the grocer. Oh, hello. Uh... Showing him, but all right, blacksmith's boy, you got the that was the last straw. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. Uh, let's see if it says anything here. I got the key from Gunish trunk for him. Maybe he'll have something that's worth selling. Oh. Oh, it didn't take the axe. Okay. Maybe if I read stuff, it might help. Um, there we go. Got it. Alright, so I got the axe back, and I've got the... Hammer. Jerk. Yeah, reading's not my fine... My, my strong suit. <laughs> Alright, so now let's get the... Coal, all right. Yeah, we'll go get the coal. Are you the coal person? You are. Greetings. Hi, I'm all bloody and beat up. How are you? All right, so. I think we need a 10 coal. And let's see. Hold on. Yes. Let's do that again. Hold on. Alright, let's talk trade. Alright, does it show how much gold I have? My wealth, zero. Trade as well as 20, okay. Alright, let's see what we can sell. Let's sell, um... That? And his nails? I guess? And I want to buy 
10 of these. So it looks like I'll get, yeah, I'll get some gold out of it and I'll actually make some money, I think. Can you haggle a little bit? Don't have enough money. Oh. What? All right, maybe I gotta sell it first. All right, let's remove that. Remove all of it. And let's haggle on the selling price. Oh, it doesn't look like we haggled. It looks like he just gave it to me. I guess. Yeah, I have two and a half gold pieces, I guess. You pay five. I guess I have to sell. Oh, wait a minute. This is really kind of strange. All right. We'll sell. Hold on. Did So maybe I should sell the axe too. Cause we don't really want the axe. Yeah, all right, well we'll sell the axe. Check the basket. There's nothing in it. <laughs> sell. This will give us two, almost three gold for it. So I've hit. Oh, I have to press and hold X to haggle. Ah, I got it. Let's talk about the price. I. All right. Haggling works in both ways: whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. Select the mode you want to pay to get. Or get W and S and confirm with E. All right. So the current offer is two. Trader's last offer is ten. I think that's just an example. Okay, because it wasn't that. All right. So the trader's offer is two point nine. I want um. Three and a half. Are we agreed? Less. Less. Three point one. Um. Okay. Three point three. Since it's you, I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Right, so if I put it there, I guess that means I agree. Oh, that's a decent price. Okay. All right, I wonder if I should have haggled on the hammer then. It's going to cost us, what, five? Well, we can always haggle the price of the coal, too. So let's see. Um, add the basket. Ten. <laughs> oh, no, ten. Accept. Check basket. So it's five. I have five point seven. Let's see if we can haggle this a little bit. Can we do something about the price? Why not? Okay, that's a good answer. Um, let's go like four, four two. Agree? It'll take more than that to persuade me. I want a punch in the face. I forgot I'm not, I'm not being Loxy right now, I'm Henry. Uh, okay, here, make an offer. 
All right, so. All right, good. All right, so we got the charcoal. Now we need to get the. We have to do sword, sword lessons too, and buy ale. So let's um. We'll go pick up the the cross guard, and then we're probably gonna end this episode. I don't want it to be too long. It's already like forty minutes right now. Um, trying to figure stuff out. <laughs> I mean, not much happened, but this is pretty cool. Is that where I need to go? <laughs> um, how do I know where I am? I guess that's me. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk right in. Go be with you. I'm with you, Henry. Oh, they're nice. Okay. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik. And the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Oh. Ah, shut up and <laughs> give me what I want or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent! Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Alright, cool. So we got the cross guard. Alright, so I'm gonna stop this here, and um, when we continue on next time, we'll, we'll go and go to the ALC Bianca, our, our, our girl, I guess. That's who she is. Um, get some mail for dad and um, yeah, see what else we're going to be able to do here. Um, so let me know what you think. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Um, it seems a little slow paced, so I might be doing, if I do further episodes, some major editing out of it. But let me know. Let me know what you think, if this is something you'd like to see. Um, I think this game is pretty cool looking. Um, I'm anxious to do more. So. Um, so yeah, let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.